Hey guys, what's up? Today I have my favorites for the month of June. Basically all my favorite beauty, makeup, style, fashion, lifestyle objects. <laughs> my favorite things that I've really been using and really been loving for the past month. And um, I think I'm actually going to get this video up within an uh, appropriate amount of time this month, which is always good. So anyway, I'm going to get started with my favorites. Um, some of these products I feel like I should have included in my drugstore, recent drugstore favorites that I, well not favorites, but like recent discoveries that I posted um, previously. And a lot of these things could have been in that video too, but I ended up just like, I was still in the trial period then, so now they're my favorites. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, this is the Aveeno, and it's kind of leaking, okay? The Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Cleansing Pads. Um, these are designed to exfoliate and cleanse your skin and reveal your skin's natural radiance. I did talk about this one in my that drugstore video I was telling you about, which I'll link to below too. You know, basically, they're self-foaming pads. You can use one side to exfoliate, the other side to cleanse. I love these so much. Heart, heart around this. Can I do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I love them so much. Um, it almost looks like it just like resurfaces your skin. And you know, it's a drugstore product, it's not like you're shelling out, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks for some crazy skincare product or more, you know, it's, I mean, I, this was definitely under $10. I can't even remember exactly, it will vary from place to place, obviously, but it's around there, like $10 or so. Um, the next thing, I recently saw these at uh, Rite Aid, and um, I know that <laughs> the cap is a little dirty, so that's kind of delightful, but, um, you know, this EOS, I guess is how you say it, EOS, Evolution of Smooth, um, they have those little round lip balms, and they make other various um, products. This is a shave cream, and um, I'd never seen this before, so I really wanted to try it because I know that the balm, the EOS balm is really, really nice. Um, this is ultra moisturizing, paraben free with natural aloe and shea butter, and the scent is pomegranate raspberry. Um, the cool thing about this, it says you can shave wet or dry using this. This is so moisturizing, I can totally see how that would be possible. But anyway, it does have these like little hand grips, which are kind of funny because it's like really, I don't know. But um, yeah, this is not like your typical, um, you know, shave foam type thing, like the intimate ones or whatever, it doesn't have like a really thick lather and it took a minute to get used to or a few showers to get used to because, um, you know, with the shaving foams you can actually see what spots you've already gotten, what spots you've missed, um, it's a lot easier to see that and this is not a foam, this is a cream, so it's a lot creamier, so once I realized that like, you know, let's pay attention a little bit more and you'll figure it out, it's really not that big of a deal, um, I seriously love this stuff so much. Um, it makes my skin so unbelievably soft, like the skin on my legs, just absolutely unbelievably soft. So anyway, that's just basically something that I've been enjoying for the past couple of weeks. If you guys know, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you might know that I'm really picky when it comes to conditioner. You know, I found a drugstore conditioner that I actually, a guy friend of mine had, and that's how I saw it. And um, I had seen the commercials for it and I saw that he had it and I was like, wow, it's pretty impressive. But anyway, so I tried it and then I really, really liked it a lot. Um, the Aveeno Nourish, Nourish, Nourish and Shine Conditioner with Nourishing Wheat Complex and Palm Extract. Basically, this is supposed to illuminate dry or damaged hair and it looks like that. It's a really long bottle. Um, I really love this conditioner. It is very hard for me to um, actually create shine on my hair. If you have darker hair, it tends to reflect light better. So, um, you know, if, if you're blonde, you probably know that it's hard to get, like, shiny hair. Um, so when something makes my hair shiny, I automatically like it. <laughs> and I'm, like, a believer for life. So I really like this conditioner a lot. It has made my hair very silky. It, like, swings a lot nicer. It's shinier. So, I really like this a lot, and I love the scent. Um, the scent is just a very fresh, clean scent. Um, and it does, like I said, it definitely does illuminate my hair a lot, somehow. Uh -huh. Anyways, I like that. Okay, next thing I want to show you guys is an eyeshadow from MAC, and this is Twinks. 
And um, it's a really pretty brown. I always think that this has some purple in it as well. Um, other people may disagree. I don't really know. I just kind of see it sometimes. So it can go with like purple looks. It can go with brown looks. It's just like a really shimmery, rich brown. Um, I think it's nice because it really complements a lot of um, like bronze looks that you can do for summer. Um, for a purple look, you could use it for like a brown look, a bronze look, so many different things. And I've been really wearing this in my crease almost every single day. So I really like that and I like to wear that along with Swiss chocolate a lot. The next thing is the MAC Dazzle Glass in Rags to Riches. I love this color so much. I'm going to try to get, give you as good a view as I can of that. It's kind of, there's a little bit of a glare on the tube, but um, it's so pretty. It is a lip gloss that has, um, yeah, rags to riches. It has so many multifaceted, like, sparkly sparkles going on. It has, like, purple sparkles, has some green ones, some golden ones, some pink, some blue. This is, um, a, some, you know, a pretty sheer formula, so it's not, it doesn't really show up that much on its own. But it looks beautiful layered over other things, and I'm wearing it right now. I think that little added sparkle just kind of adds an extra something, and I really like that a lot. So, I think that is all. Oh no, no it's not. One other thing I wanted to show you kind of has to do with, like, summer fashion, I guess. Um, growing up, I loved Forever 21. I thought it was great that you could get, like, you know, a shirt for $10. Um, but I kind of got out of that phase for a really long time because they didn't have, like, the best quality things. Like, I think, you know, I started to realize that you kind of get what you pay for, and my clothes from Forever 21 were falling apart, and it was driving me nuts. So I kind of got out of Forever 21, and then I recently kind of ventured back into the store. Um, I went shopping with a girlfriend. Um, hey, Allie, what's up, girl? I hope she's watching this, or else I'm going to feel really dumb. But anyway, we went to Forever 21, and I bought these shorts. The things I've been finding at Forever 21 lately have been so nice. Like, I feel like, you know, some of the things are still kind of cheap or whatever, but they have a lot of nicer cuts. Like, the cuts seemed a lot more thought out. The fabrics aren't as cheap. Um, a lot of the stuff at Forever 21 now has really been surprising me. So anyway, as far as summer things go, I have really realized that a pattern that I have discovered is that Forever 21 has amazing shorts. I found these shorts, and I have fallen in love with these. I've been living in these. Um so to speak and yeah this is the 21 denim I love the little cuff so I really like how it has that little cuff it's not too big or anything it's just like a great size and then it has these little um you know like dis what is that called distressed yeah little like distressed features and things like that and the back is really plain the back isn't you know but these are so amazingly comfortable they kind of flare out a little bit the side, so it's really flattering, kind of flatters your, you know, your shape a little bit, so they're not like skin tight gripping your thighs. Um, and they're so comfortable. The denim is so soft, and it really is stretchy, so they're so comfortable. They're not like normal, I kind of stopped wearing jean shorts for a while, because they tend to be really thick and like, just uncomfortable, like dig into your stomach when you sit down and stuff. These are not like that at all. They are, they feel like shorts I would just lounge around in. They're so comfy, but they look really, you know, nice and whatever. You can wear them with heels, you can dress it up, whatever. I like that a lot. I'm also wearing another pair of shorts from Forever 21. These, this is a t-shirt from Target, by the way, and I think this tank top I got at Forever 21 as well. But these are like white, I don't know if you can see, can you see? These are like white linen shorts. I've really had these. I think I got these like last year. Um, but I love these because they don't have to be perfectly, you know, ironed or anything like that. They can just kind of be um, a little wrinkled because they're supposed to be linen. Did I say linen? Like John Lennon? Um, they're supposed to be linen. So it's like cool. And they're really, you know, they're cute. So anyways, yeah. Um... I hope you guys had an amazing month of June. I'm really excited. I'm actually leaving for the beach the day after tomorrow for the first time this summer, so I'm kind of excited about that. And I hope all of you... I'm only going to be there for, like, Wednesday and Thursday, so I have a bunch of videos already ready, and that won't be an issue or anything like that. But I hope you all have an amazing July 4th, and, um, you know, have fun and stay safe and all that kind of thing. And I'll talk to you guys really, really soon. Bye.